Good morning viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today is day 3 of our Nagaland and Kohima trip or today we are heading back home. Kalpuri Rath bhoat barish hui and I'm really worried ki rasta kaisa hoga yaha se Dimapur tak ka. You must have seen our last video ki the road was not at all good and S39 was not at all good. There were multiple landslides and we got stuck even for half an hour yesterday. So since कल पूरी रात बारिश हुई, I'm hoping कि और ज़्यादा landslide वगैरह नहीं हुई है, and we should reach Dimapur on time. वहाँ से तो बाकी roads ठीक ही है, and we'll also try to visit the Bokazan CCI township and also try to see the natural hot spring in the Nambar forest. Let's see कैसे जाता है आज का दिन, and we will also take you with us. We then had a light but nutritious breakfast at the B&B and checked out around 8 a.m. It was around 8.30 a.m. we said goodbye to the beautiful town of Kohima and drove out of the city towards Dimapur. The moment we drove out of the city limits, we entered right into the clouds again. Although the roads were not good, but the weather and the clouds made our journey mystical. I think we have reached that part of the road where the road is completely broken. Kal ek makeshift arrangement karke uh, the local authorities are trying to move the vehicles. Uh, even I had a tough time crossing that patch. Sari gariya bhi ruki hui hai. Let's hope ki nikal jaye. And looking at the long queue, I guess again yaha pe aadha ghanta se 45 minutes we have to wait. I guess. Uh, now the traffic is open from the other side, uh, uh, cars from Dimapur are coming through. Let's hope this side will open quickly and we can cross it smoothly. Uh, if I tell you, if I have to tell you my experience yesterday, it was not that great. Mm, uh, my tires did skid and uh, an underbody was a little touch. So let's hope ki aaj aaram se nikal jaye and we can cross this patch and reach Dimapur as soon as possible. Keeping it slow and steady, we crossed this slushy, muddy and bad section of the road. To make things worse, rain showed no signs of mercy. After crossing that bad section of the highway, the roads became good and landscape became amazing. The rest of the highway till Dimapur was smooth but we did cross few sections flooded with rainwater and slush. Uh, 
एन एच थर्टी नाइन का तो देखा ही होगा पहाड़ों से उतर के प्लेन में अच्छा तो लग रहा है बट इफ यू आर अ माउंटेन लवर लाइक मी पहाड़ों की बात ही कुछ अलग सो वी आर प्लानिंग अगेन टू विजिट कोहिमा इन विंटर्स सो देट वी कैन एक्सप्लोर मोर वी कैन गो टू खोनोमा वी कैन गो टू सखमा एंड सी ऑल द ब्यूटिफुल प्लेसेस इन नागालैंड लेट्स होप नवंबर दिसंबर में जब बारिश कम होती है वी विजिट अगेन एंड सी ऑल द ब्यूटिफुल प्लेसेस Now, after crossing Dimapur, we will have some tea somewhere, and then we'll move towards Bukata. So we have reached Bukata. Let's see if we can go to campus. Can we go to the campus? Or I don't know if the rules have changed or not. We are right now at the CCI gate. Uh, I don't know if it is called something else now, but we are in CCI gate. It has changed a bit, though I vaguely remember it. But ha, shops, burger, definitely burger. Let's see. Ki campus mein hum log khus paate hain. And that's the cement factory. So we are inside the CCI uh, housing complex. This used to be ladies club or something. I did, I still remember it. But यहाँ पे मेरे dad शायद शाम को badminton खेलने आते थे. Ah, okay. These are the quarters. And this is the SBI branch where my dad used to work. So that's the State Bank of India branch where my dad used to work. and this is the children's park where i used to play with my friends in the afternoon but condition has deteriorated and ye pehle aisa nahi tha bahut hi acha tha okay this is the quarter where we used to live abhi halat aur zyada hi kharab ho gaya hai i do not remember much but the color was yellow i guess at that time but still and this property this particular house was not there at that time We then drove straight to my school where I studied from class 3 to class 7. Surprisingly, the color of the walls were the same as before and the school looked great. I did go back to those golden days in my mind. It was definitely nostalgic for me. After walking down my memory lane, we drove straight towards the Namber Forest. So we have reached the hot water spring in middle of Namber Forest, and the ticket costs us around twenty rupees per person. And this is the entrance. Let's check it out. Wow! Look at this. Uh, it reminds me of the backwaters we saw in Sri Lanka. Uh, yeah. Mm, the only difference is that the forest here is a bit more dense. Oh, we took a beautiful boat ride in Sri Lanka in this kind of waters. So here we are at the hot water pond. Uh, it's a natural hot spring, and 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 I still remember it was not surrounded by this kind of wall in 1994, 1995. But now the government is maintaining it pretty well, it seems. So let's show you. आप लोगों को भी दिखाते हैं कि कैसा है ये. If you can see right there, you can see bubbles of water coming out of the surface, right? So it's boiling hot water there. Boiling? Really? Yeah, yeah. It should be pretty warm. Should be pretty hot. Just touch it out. Is it warm? Yes. Just touch. Lukewarm? No, not. Pretty 
warm. <coughs> wow, pretty warm. Uh, even if it is raining heavily, I'm trying my best to show you as much as possible. So, if you like my videos, do subscribe to my channel and please hit the bell icon and the like button. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Insta handle will be mentioned in the description area. So, do check it out and do follow me there too. We took the shortcut from NH39 to NH37 via Golaghat town and reached the town of Zorhat around 1 pm. We were hungry and Rashmi started checking on Google Maps for restaurants serving local cuisines. Tempted by the pics on the internet, we went to a restaurant called Soka. We ordered their chicken thalis and ate to our heart's content. With a full tummy, we then drove through broken section of the Sipsagar bypass and a few good parts of NH37 and finally reached Duliajan around 8 pm. So viewers, it's 8.30 in the evening and we have reached Duliajan. It was a really wrong long drive. Uh, hum log, subha, around 8.30 we started from Kohima and almost after 12 hours we have reached our home. So this brings the end of our short Nagaland trip. It was a weekend trip, Teen din ka hi bus since it was a holiday on Monday. Uh, we will try that we will go somewhere else and we will try our best to bring travel videos to you. Uh, just a request, if you like videos, then please do subscribe to my channel and do hit the like button too. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. Mein bhi follow kar sakte hai. My Instagram handle is mentioned somewhere here. Please do follow me on Instagram for regular updates. Let's see you in the next video. Mein. Take care. Bye.